sir, good people. The cure in wine. Hmm. Lady Morange tells me that a delegation from the Devesp family just landed on the island. From the look on your face, I take it their arrival is not good news. Are they that bad? That family has a long-standing grudge against the D'Orsay family. And considering their cutthroat reputation, we would do well to hasten to join Lady Morange. Sir de Sade, did you get my message? Indeed. The arrival of the de Vesp family in Tier is surprising and no doubt worrying, but without knowing their intentions. Nothing good can come from that family, for the interests of the Dorsey family and Serene. But I truly cannot tell you anything about the reason for their presence. The message I received was brief. Aurelia de Vesp announced her arrival on the island and asked to see your cousin as soon as possible. She and her entourage seem to have settled in a region that I do not know. Adag Old Credo, north of Big Shadir. I think it would be good for you to locate her and try to find out more. I know this place, but I thought that only the Donegada from the Baragnodash clan knew how to access it. It's a sacred place. That's where Anemide shed his blood. You should also take advantage and visit these unknown lands. Who knows what they have in store for us. You're right. It's better for us to go and see what it's all about. What can you tell me about the Devesp family? I've never met them and everything I know is hearsay. And strange and worrying as it is, the rumors are justified for the most part. Nevertheless, I'm not an expert, and I've been away from the continent for a long time. I'm sure Sir de Corsion will be able to tell you more, but know that they have envied the Dorsey family's power in the congregation for generations. They have tried to impose themselves many times at its head, holding up the antiquity of their city, Perel, as a pretext. They bribe messengers, use blackmail and trickery, even murder, according to some people. And don't back down for anything. Be very careful with them, Your Excellency, and don't believe a single one of their lies. They're real vipers. Do you have any other questions? What do you know about Aurelia de Vesp? Is she an important member of the family? As far as I know, she's the prince's favorite daughter, and the only one left. I seem to remember that she was married to a promising young nobleman for a few years. I heard he died in suspicious circumstances. 
but I couldn't tell you what happened or if it's even true. But if you want to find out more about her before you go to meet her, you should go to speak to Sir de Corsion. Do you have any other questions? Do you know the city of Peren? Legend would have it that it's the oldest city in the congregation. And its ruins bear witness to a glorious past. It's a beautiful city with a river running through it and whose art and architecture have long been a source of inspiration for the old world. Nevertheless, it doesn't have direct access to the sea, which stopped it from thriving and becoming as powerful as Serene. That's what finally pushed it into the background amidst the larger cities. Do you have any other questions? Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Divesps. My Manunganem. Do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
Indeed. Delighted to meet you, Your Grace. The accounts I've been given of you and your companions don't do you justice. Truly, it is a pleasure. We're going to become wonderful friends, you and I, I'm sure of it. Say, aren't we going to be cousins soon? Pardon me, Your Grace, but I'm not sure I follow. And if I may ask, what is it precisely that brings you to this remote island? Haven't you heard? Well, <laughs> It seems the messengers on this island are not particularly reliable. No matter. Your uncle and my father have decided that your cousin, Prince Constantine, and I are to be married. So, here I am. <sighs> my. This is... <sighs> incredible news. I know you must be surprised. However, this alliance will be a wonderful way to put an end to the enmity between us, don't you think? Indeed. But I should warn you that the current situation is complicated. My cousin seems to have got it into his head that he'll conquer the island and... Oh? What audacity! But I'm sure our allies won't look very favorably on this situation. Still, I have to admit that such ambition only piques my interest in my new fiancé. I don't think it jeopardizes our arrangements. Not for the moment, at least. Then. You and I will be cousins, of course. Furthermore, I was hoping I might be able to count on your assistance. Of course, Your Grace. What can I do for you? You see, I didn't want to impose myself on you, Serene, until all the necessary arrangements had been made for my arrival. I had the Noughts drop us off in a quiet place outside the city. Too far outside the city, clearly. There were these savages and bandits skulking around the woods and threatening us. They even robbed me. Worst of all, they took the chest in which I was keeping the marriage contract. Savages. The only savages I know are the ones who invaded our home. Oh, please forgive me, I meant no disrespect. Natives then, is it? In any case, it's absolutely mortifying to have to ask you this, but you know the island and its inhabitants better than I do. Could you perhaps retrieve the chest for me? I would be eternally grateful. Cousin. Can you tell me more about the theft? Of course. We were unloading our things from those horrid little boats that the Nords get about in when it was taken. I was busy setting up camp at the time, so I didn't see who it was. My men didn't see much either, because it was dark. But certain natives from the region stopped by in the morning. They were aggressive and insisted that we leave. <laughs> I'm sure they were behind the robbery, unless it was just bandits. There were a couple that my men chased away, but that's all I know. Thank you. We'll get about finding it. Is there anything else? I won't deny that I'm surprised to hear about your engagement to my cousin, despite the excellent reason you put forth. Surely you didn't think your cousin would stay single forever. Know that although the decision was not my own, I'm very pleased about it. I got the impression your uncle thought a wedding might calm your cousin a little. And now that he's in the role of governor, he needs a wife of his standing. My father saw an opportunity to get me away from Peren, where I was in great danger, and found me a worthy husband in the process. But again, it's clear that their main intention was to put an end to years of conflict. Is there anything else? Since we're going to be cousins, I'll have to get to know you better. Well, aren't you just lovely? I'm afraid there isn't much to tell. I was raised like any good princess, educated in both arts and arms. But, as I had several older brothers, I was never really given a political role. I'm still my father's favorite, though. You may know that I've already been married once, but my husband was murdered in cold blood as part of a plot at court. I'm very sorry for your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences. You're too kind. After he died, my father decided it was best to send me away from Peren. He knew your cousin was unmarried and was tired of the futile disputes between our families. So he contacted Prince Dorsey, and the rest is history. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin.
simply cannot believe that Prince Dorsey would marry his son to that princess. His father may not much like Constantine, but not to the point he would consent to him marrying a family's worst enemy. I can't believe it either. There is too much rancor between our families. Could the contract she spoke of be forged? Is it even possible? I'm not familiar with the practice. A document can be forged, especially by them. This much is clear. If we find it, it'll need close scrutiny. If I've understood correctly, the chest was here when it was stolen. Ah, there are footprints which lead away from the camp.
other footprints here. They're quite deep. As if the person who made them were carrying a heavy load. We're on the right path. undergrowth has been crushed. Several people pass through here.
less hurried. The thieves must have felt safer here. We must be getting close. But I'm convinced they don't eat their prey where they catch it. They would normally take it back to their lair. Maybe they were about to do just that when we got here. Let's look around. We'll soon find out. And let's not forget Aurelia's chest. The poor souls didn't enjoy their loot very long. It looks as though they were attacked as soon as they settled down here. The ashes and embers are laid out as they should be, but the ground beneath them is untouched. This campfire has not been used. It seems as though it was just laid out as a prop. I'm troubled by this fake campfire. It casts a strange light upon this whole affair. We'd best go back to the camp and return the chest. The Devesp coat of arms. This must be the chest Aurelia asked us to find. I say we open it. Let's see if the contract she spoke of is genuine. I can't see a lock. And we'd be hard pressed to explain why we broke it. We'd better bring it back untouched. Halt! Look, a group of armed men. They seem to be waiting for us. We should watch them for a while before moving on. their Aurelia de Vesp swordsmen. I'm afraid it is now beyond doubt. These men were sent to ambush us. Aurelia sent us to recover that chest solely in order to get rid of us. If it were up to me, I'd give those assassins a taste of our steel. But if you'd rather play it diplomatically, it shouldn't be difficult to avoid them.
sent us to recover her chest in order to get rid of us. She hoped these killers would be the end of us. She deserves Enon Mir Frichtemann's wrath. May he engulf her in lava. What do you intend to do? She'll have to answer for this. But, given the power of her family, we must remain polite.
I didn't think I'd see you again. So soon. Is that because you'd hoped we'd be clawed to death by those beasts? Or because you thought your assassins would get the better of us? Come now, who do you take me for? I was just putting your courage to the test, that's all. A princess's whim. <laughs> I kindly suggest you forget all about this little incident. You see, my dear, we divests have a habit of knowing as much about our enemies as our friends. I'm afraid my father's men have obtained some rather sensitive information, which, well, if the other governors were to find out, it could very well jeopardize your position, along with that of the Dorsay. If word were to get out about your origin, for example... Are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, what a horrid word! <laughs> Come now. I would never do such a thing. Let's just say that I'm ensuring your loyalty. In fact, some of my men are already at the courts of Hikmet and San Mateus, and ready to act if you try anything. But I'm sure it won't come to that. We'll soon be part of the same family, after all. Here is your chest. This is the one you sent me to fetch. Yes, that's the one. Thank you for your help. You have shown yourself to be as reliable as they say. Long may it continue to be the case. Well, now that I've recovered my precious documents, you will be able to deliver the wedding contract to your cousin in New Serene. I await the preparations for my arrival and accommodation. Then there'll be plenty of time to prepare the ceremony with my husband-to-be. The arrival of a noble lady such as yourself will require several arrangements. New Serene is a very new city. Yes, I'm sure. Don't dither for too long now. I'm counting on you to be as quick as possible. And to convince your cousin and his men to be reasonable. You know what's at stake. Is there anything else? Why do you feel the need to resort to blackmail? You have your contract. Why threaten me? My sweet summer child. You seem to have learned to navigate the seas of politics in a duck pond. My waters, however, were shark-infested. Knowing the weaknesses of others, as well as how and when to exploit them to ensure unwavering loyalty, is key to survival as a divesp. I believe I mentioned that my late husband was murdered at court. Well, his killers worked for my brother. My own brother didn't think twice before having the man I loved killed to secure his position. He broke my heart. I understand, of course. I'd probably do the same. And what of it? Do you think I would feel more remorse where it's, say, a cousin-in-law? Is there anything else? What are your intentions? Surely you're not going to all this trouble just to marry my cousin. And why not? Your cousin's quite the catch, you know. But you're quite right. I want more than just a new husband. I want a place where I can showcase my talents, a place to shine. Who knows? As the governor's wife, I could even become the new legate and try my hand at diplomacy. Unless I decide to keep you, of course. That is, if you promise to serve me well and aid me in expanding our influence on this island and beyond. The Divesps have long worked in the shadows of the congregation. No more. I hope that answers your question. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. She has us. We now have the contract, but even if it does turn out to be forged, we have no choice but to bend to her will. Damnation. She's a thorn in our side. I wonder what she knows exactly. Sadly, all families have their secrets. And whichever one she holds would be enough to put our family at risk. We must get those documents back. Let's go to Hikmet and San Mateus and take the wind out of their sails. After that, we can settle our score with her. You're right. It's the only way to put an end to this alliance and supplant the Viper.
your excellency. Her highness. Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp of the Merchant Congregation has sent me to convey her regards. She would like to assure you of her deepest respect and her unwavering support as an ally with any troubles you may encounter. She also wishes to forewarn you that the person who until now presented himself as the Congregation's legate may soon lose his position. Indeed, he is believed to have lied about his lineage, and doubt has now been cast upon his titles of nobility. It is also rumored that he is engaged in questionable dealings involving the guilds and the natives. We sincerely hope that, until this situation has been clarified, you will treat him with the utmost suspicion. Naturally, if these allegations prove to be true, a new legate will be appointed by Her Highness immediately. Madam, I thank you for your kind words, but I do not know you. You come on behalf of someone I do not know either, and who, to my knowledge, has no political authority. Yet you present yourself before my court making accusations against someone who has always shown himself to be respectable and who has come to our aid numerous times. I must ask you to leave, madam. You are not welcome here. I've rarely been faced with such a deceitful, insolent person. I'm sorry you had to hear such horrendous things. What's happening in the congregation that this joke of an ambassador is challenging your position like this? As you may be aware, Your Excellency, there's long-standing rivalry between the De Vesp and the Dorsey families. Aurelia De Vesp just arrived in Tierfredi and clearly intends to impose her will here by any means. I suggest you settle this affair swiftly. Had it been anyone other than myself, they may well have believed such lies. That's what I intend to do, Your Excellency. But to do so, I need to know where to find this ambassador. I think I heard that she and her entourage took up residence in a farm just out of town. You should find her, so she can explain herself. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Even if he did stay calm, Governor Burren was furious. He wasn't too happy about those de Vesp schemes. Thankfully. Those snide allegations could have caused us great harm had he taken them seriously. You are respected here, which makes sense considering all the services you have rendered. That woman had no chance. I wonder what the so-called evidence we'll find here will reveal. We'll only find out once we actually have it. But regardless of whether it's completely fabricated or holds an ounce of truth, it is dangerous. We must tread carefully. The De Vesps are experts in the art of manipulation. We must ensure that these documents never get out. Here come the De Vesp ambassador and her henchmen. We should hide and listen to what they say. We may glean some interesting information. Ambassador? Did your meeting with the governor go well? Unfortunately, our legate is well loved here, and I didn't have time to put my argument before them. I was thrown out as soon as our rival arrived, but I shall not give up. I shall convey my message by other means. 
Nothing casts doubt better than spreading hearsay amongst the courtesans. And when we present him with our proof, the governor will be brought to see things our way. However, the legate's presence is problematic. I did not expect him here so soon. Special care must be taken to better hide our documents. If they search the old farm under the cliff, he or his comrades could well find them. Tomorrow morning, we must move them to a safer hiding place. In the meantime, we must rest. As you command, Ambassador. Damn it! It was a trap! There are some documents, but it's not the evidence Aurelia spoke of. These documents speak of you. It appears that the Devesp sought out information on each of you, hoping to influence you or to drive a wedge between. Could you read it to me? Oh, I would like to know what a bunch of Renaigze may have found out about me. This is just further proof of their deceit. And the so-called evidence got away again. Let's search these men. We may find something useful. According to this letter, the chest was given to a merchant in town who deals with the Devesps. He was ordered to hand it to the governor if something happens to the delegation. That Aurelia is clever if nothing else. We must get that chest from the merchant before he learns of their deaths.
Are you Valence? Indeed. Uh, what can I do for your lordship? Are you looking for tools for your workers? I have a large range of tools. Everything you need for mining or timber harvesting. I have no interest in your goods. I have been sent by Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp. She asked me to recover a chest you have in your keeping. Of course, of course. It's stuffed between my goods in the street just behind us. I hope you tell your mistress that I obeyed her orders. Do not worry. She will be told.
Hello. Are you the guard who left me a message at the embassy? Greetings, Your Excellency. Yes, it was me. I thought you should be warned when I saw those vermin bearing the divest livery. This is indeed interesting information. Do you know if they're staying in town? The delegation leader is always at the tavern. He drinks heavily. His men wander around town looking for trouble. Thank you. I imagine you're expecting a reward. No, Your Excellency, keep your money. I'll consider myself highly rewarded if you manage to put a stop to their horrible, manipulative plans. My old battalion was almost completely lost to those vipers. They led us into a trap and left us to rot. So I don't know what you wish to do to them, but I wish you the best success. I wonder if we might have a word. De Sade. The Dorsey family's henchman. I knew it. I knew I would meet my end by accepting this mission. After what you did to Ambassador Lavoisin and Hickman. If the Ambassador and her men had not attacked me, they would certainly still be alive. Since you know who I am, you must know why I'm here. Yes. The document chest. But don't think you can scare me into giving it to you. I've been scared to death since I got to this town. Since I got to this island. But I will not betray them. Come. We never wished you harm. We only want to recover some files. They do concern us, after all. Tell us where they are. A huge weight will be lifted off your shoulders. That's those fools are so there. Hello. I wonder if we might have a word. De Sade. The Dorsey family's henchman. I knew it. I knew I would meet my end by accepting this mission. After what you did to Ambassador Lavoisin and Hickman. If the Ambassador and her men had not attacked me, they would certainly still be alive. Since you know who I am, you must know why I'm here. Yes. The document chest. But don't think you can scare me into giving it to you. I've been scared to death since I got to this town. Since I got to this island. But I will not betray them. Come. We never wished you harm. We only want to recover some files. They do concern us, after all. Tell us where they are. A huge weight will be lifted off your shoulders. That's true. Does it even matter? I don't have the chest anymore. I gave it to a group of inquisitors who don't like you very much. Those fools are so furious that they'd rather die than give you the chest. And Saint Matthias is with them. So, they're hiding out in one of the warehouses around the port. If you really want to confront them, it's your own choice. But you 
should say a prayer first. you found us but don't rejoice too soon you will not leave this warehouse alive come I'm sure we can work this out I only want the divest chest don't count on it because of you our order has been driven off this island and the governor treats us like criminals we shall avenge our brothers and our order Protect me in this battle! May the shadow engulf our enemies!
I can't remember there being posters here last time I came. What does it say? Oh, I can't read your language. this nonsense another divest trick i'll truly stop at nothing these posters could cause a full-scale riot we must stop them from spreading around town as was to be expected the crowd is getting restless we must do something or it'll turn into a riot these people may have seen i say those posters tell the truth we should demand a new governor this one should be sent to court. It's just a matter of being informed. My cousin knows one of the governor's guards, and she told me it was all true. Lady Mirage, there's a true governor, and she's never put a foot out of line. Where is this Constantine Dorsey? Greetings, madam. Did you happen to see, by any chance, who stuck up these posters? Oh. You are the famous legate these posters speak of. You would never tell me if it were all true. Anyway, if you want revenge against the woman who stuck them up, you're too late. The guards caught her in the act, and when they saw what was written on the posters, they took her to the barracks. She must be rotting away in jail now. Thank you. And you shouldn't believe those lies. As if you could say anything else. Hello. I'm the bastard murderer from your posters. Oh, Your Excellency. I, I'm not responsible for the content of those posters. I had no choice but to stick them up. In a sense, the guard's arrest protected me, but my partner is under lock and key and guarded by armed men who bear the divest livery. They are responsible. They forced me to stick these posters up all around town. They threatened to kill my partner. If you don't stop them, they will kill him. I beg you, free him. I believe you, and I will free your friend if I can. Do you know where the other posters are? I must destroy this nonsense before it creates a riot. No, they only gave me one stack of them. They certainly have more, but I don't know where they're hiding the rest. The men who are holding him must know. Very well. I have no other choice but to free him. Where is he being held? Behind the barracks, along the docks. Please, hurry! <laughs>
Thank you for freeing me from those murderous clutches. Do you know where my friend is? She went to stick up those horrible posters. She sent me to rescue you. She was imprisoned, but she'll probably get out soon. The presence of these men will prove that she had no intention of causing an insurrection. Oh, you've taken a great weight off me shoulders. I was worried she'd been killed. They were such brutes. I must destroy the rest of those posters. Do you have any idea where those men could have hidden them? Well, I spoke of having a reserve just outside of town. In a small hut, if my memory serves me well. You should go and check. Thank you. And try to avoid the Devesps in the future. They're dangerous. Sade, you seem somewhat gloomy. Well, what's troubling you? As you may have heard, the Devesp family has sent a delegation to the island. It's led by the prince's daughter herself. Ah, most curious. And very worrying indeed. But you didn't come all this way in person just to bring me the bad news, I take it? You've read my mind. Knowledge is power. I need all the information you've got. What can you tell me about this family? Well, the House of Vesp has a very long history. They gained their first noble titles through violence a few centuries ago. Then, commerce and close ties with Teleme saw them rise to become the princes of Peren, their ancestral city. However, their lust for power is boundless. And it's no secret they wish to reign over the whole congregation. No luck on that front so far, naturally. Their ambitions have always been curbed by the Dorsais, along with Serene's strategic advantages over Peren. Hmm. Quite the history, then. And what about today? Well, they're more ambitious than ever. When the Malikor epidemic hit Serene as hard as it did, they saw it merely as a weakness to exploit. They attempted a series of maneuvers to oust your uncle from the council. But then the epidemic ended up hitting Peren, too. However, I don't think they've given up. And if they've come all the way here, it's surely to gain influence and to undermine your family. Was there anything else you wish to ask? Do you know anything in particular about the prince's daughter, Aurelia de Vesp? She's a young woman, about your age. Very beautiful, so they say. 
and she's dearly beloved by her father. Despite her age, she's already endured her fair share of tragedy. Her husband, whom I'm told she deeply loved, was brutally murdered not long ago. What's more, Aurelia's older brother, Octave de Vespa, is rumored to be the one behind it. And I don't just mean he gave the order. That said, don't be fooled into thinking she's but a tragic, defenseless young widow. Oh, she's very much her father's daughter. Ambitions and all. I have no doubt she'll be a formidable opponent for yourself and Constantine. Treat her as such. Was there anything else you wish to ask? Given this family's reputation, what's stopping us from arresting them on the spot? What, without evidence? That would do no good to your uncle's reputation and his position on the continent. I'm sure your cousin would delight in watching him squirm. But the Dorsey family could never recover from such a situation. If you arrest her without evidence, the council would be forced to intervene. And that is exactly what that old serpent, Alexandre de Vesp, wants. No, you must play along for now, but be extremely vigilant. Look out for poison in particular. The de Vesps have untraceable poisons down to a science. Their other weapon is compromising information, which they store in special chests without keyholes. Should slander not suffice, their assassins step in. It is said that Perenne's river is riddled with the bodies of their enemies. Take care, you don't end up joining them. Was there anything else you wish to ask? I recovered some documents that Aurelia intended to use against us. I also brought you the wedding contract. Let me see. Hmm. <laughs> yes. A skillful blend of truths and untruths, as is to be expected. I'm afraid, however, this letter from Julia Dorsey, Constantine's mother, is genuine. But your cousin is not to blame for his mother's volley. It caused him more harm than good, and he was but a child when his brother was killed. But the implication that he's not the prince's son is absurd. You know them both, and you know how much Constantine looks like his father. As for these documents about your mother, poor Livy would never have deceived your father. And furthermore... <sighs> it's all right, I know. I'm a native of Tierfredi. My real mother was a Danaegat of the Seaside Nemeus clan. So in a way, all this is both true and completely false. I'm not General de Sade's son, and my mother never deceived him. I wasn't aware you knew. It's true you were adopted, and though the adoption was somewhat irregular, in any case, I doubt that this information could truly be used against you. The revelations about Constantine are more cause for concern. But since you recovered the evidence, we needn't worry about it being used against us. Providing it's the only copy, of course. I believe so. What do you make of the marriage contract? Is it genuine? Well, the writing is that of a court clerk. But their handwriting all looks the same. It would be difficult to tell if it was truly written by your uncle. As for the seal, well, I'm almost certain that it is a forgery, but an excellent one at that. That being said, without the seal itself, you'd be hard-pressed to prove it. If we denounce this contract without evidence, everyone will say that it's just an excuse to get out of the wedding. In that case, I need to find that seal. Let's hope Aurelia de Vesp has brought it with her. I'd wager she did. She may want to use it again. If you want to find it, you'll have to get her away from her camp to have a good chance to search her belongings. As I'm supposed to be organizing the princess's arrival, Lady Morange can surely help by sending for her. Thank you, sir. Was there anything else you wish to ask? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsinio.
By the look on your face, you've already experienced the Devesp's deceit firsthand. Indeed. Aurelia tried to blackmail us. I had to recover evidence she gathered against my cousin and myself, and stop a riot in town she caused by sticking up posters which mocked us, and which depicted you as the heroine. And I can assure you I'm not responsible. I don't doubt it, madam. However, Sir de Corsillon told me that the seal used on the wedding contract was fake, but that we needed the fake seal itself to prove it and put an end to this sham. So, you would like me to get Aurelia de Vesp away from her quarters, so you can search them at your leisure? That's the general idea. She did ask us to organize her arrival. Your message shouldn't surprise her. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm going to write. The young de Vesp may be talented, but I have years more experience. Oh, if I may offer some advice, you should question the Norts who brought her here. They must have gleaned some information on our charming princess on such a long journey in close quarters. Admiral Cabral should know where they are. You should go and see her. Do you have any other questions? Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Divesps. Closer, good people. The cure is... You'll find all... Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you.
see you soon. Desarde, what can I do for you? Greetings, Admiral. I came to see you as I seek information about Aurelia de Vesp and her entourage. Since they landed on this island, they haven't ceased their efforts to undermine our city and our diplomatic position. And since they traveled on your ships for several months, I thought you and your men would surely have things to say about them. We don't make a habit of revealing information about our passengers, but I'm willing to make an exception this time. Since we got here, part of our ship's crew, those who were in contact with the de Vesps, haven't been heard from. The rest of the crew, the ones who steered the ship, are here. They're worried, and fear the worst for their comrades. I would be very grateful if you inquired of their whereabouts. If you find them alive, I will not object to them telling you everything they know. Quite the opposite. One thing is certain. The de Vesps will never set another foot on one of our ships. Rest assured. I'll do my best to find them. Goodbye, Admiral. Goodbye, Desarde. And be careful. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Pleasure to see you again. Have you seen? See you soon. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine for the
action on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> 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 We need help! Help! That accent. It's one of ours. Narcs are in danger. We must help. The Vesps remind me of a horrible little scorpion fish, full of spikes and venom. They locked up my brothers, put together files full of horrendous lies on the governors. <sighs> With this, they could bend the whole island to their will. immensely for having freed us. Had we stayed here, those lunatics would have killed us. They already killed one of the men by giving him some kind of potion. Yes, Aurelia de Vesp came with a smile on her face and poisoned one of our men to test the effects of a plan. That's what she said. We must go through Aurelia's things. We need to prove that the wedding contract was forged to stop her from causing harm. Did you see or hear anything which could help me while you traveled here with Aurelia de Vesp? That woman is very secretive. She isn't the kind of person who speaks of her plans in front of those she treats as servants. I served her in her cabin. Every time I came in, she slipped the documents she was reading or writing in special chests. However, one day I heard her talking to one of her followers. She told him that with all the information they had gathered, they would easily take over the island. She clearly spoke of bringing the other governors to their knees with the information she had against them. She wants to blackmail them. She probably kept us locked up here because she knew that we had heard her plans. That's undoubtedly true. Thank you for this information. Do you know how to get back to the Admiral now that you're free? Yes. Don't worry. We'll soon be back on our ship. Thanks to you. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful.
poison on my blade. Then let's go!
A fake seal. I must admit that the Devesps are clever and well equipped. In any case, thanks to this seal, we can prove that the contract was forged. And we can send Mr. Vesp back to the continent. That may be so, but after seeing what was written in that journal, I'm worried about Lady Morange. We should try to find an antidote. The Donegada in this region should be able to help us. They must know about all the plants. Honor Manawi. Hello. Bur Tirtumat. I'm Vad from the Beraignodas clan. I need to speak to you. Bur Tirtumat, Donegada. Bur Tirtumat, Siora. I hope your friend will be able to help us. I've heard people talking about you in the village, and Dunkas respects you, so I'm sure you'll understand. What is it? This land has been sacred for generations. And only the Donegada of our clan can come to calm the anger of Enon Milfrichtinen. This is where he spilled the burning blood of the land to destroy our enemies. The sun trembled and the sky was black for days. It is madness to come back here, especially for Renaixen. You must leave and take all the other Renaixa with you. Do not fret. I intend to ensure that they don't stay long. Neither here nor on this island, for that matter. I hope so, Honor Manawi. Because we can already feel the anger rising up to Credenus. And many would die if it spread. And these Renaiks say don't understand anything. They're multiplying like flies. No sooner had the ones in black arrived from the sea, than others came from the woods to surround them. And now, here you are. 
I promise that these lands will soon find their peace. Do you have anything else to ask us? Yes, I actually need your help. I'm sure you know all about the plants in this region. Do you know of any that are poisonous? The leader of those who came here plans to poison one of my friends. It's true that the leader left the camp at one point. She stayed in the woods for a while. If it was poisonous plants she was after, I'm sure she would have collected sedek leaves at this time of year. It's a slow but horrible poison which causes a great deal of suffering. But the antidote can be found in some roots that we know well. You're in luck. We have a small bottle. Anyone who drinks it quickly after being poisoned will survive. Thank you. I'm infinitely grateful. Do you have anything else to ask us? Thanks again for your help. Goodbye. Kwa awal am seg on al Manawi. And don't forget, those Renaik say need to leave. My Manundanem. My Manundanem. Your strange ways worry me. Which ways? These contracts which marry you to strangers. Do you think your uncle intends the same for you? What would he think of us? Would he want to keep us apart? I suppose he probably planned to marry me off to a noble. You have nothing to worry about. I really think he would be very happy for us. From his perspective, our union would be very useful. Is that because he thinks that your union to a tea pretty princess would allow him to spread his influence more easily? You see? You've already started to understand how he thinks. I do not share this view, Siora. But I'm quite sure he will let us be. Remember what you said? Good end, nays greater como life. That's what matters. That's true. You're right. Kerto. The rest is nothing more than politics. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. I never imagined the Defesps would go so far. She 
tried to poison me. Don't mention it. The Donegarda of the Duncas clan should also be thanked, my lady. They gave us the antidote. May they be blessed. I'll send them a present to thank them. But you should go straight to the palace. Aurelia de Vesp was headed there. I'm afraid she may try to take over by force. I'll go there right away. Get well soon, my lady. Aurelia de Vesp. On behalf of Governor Constantine Dorsey, you are under arrest. Oh, really? Hardly surprising. Typical of the Dorsey family's underhanded methods. On what grounds, might I ask? Firstly, for fraud and forgery. The wedding contract you gave us is fake. <laughs> your lies are as dismal as they are desperate. The contract bears the seals of both my father and your prince. Is he trying to back out? Or has his idiot son simply decided to disobey him? Neither. The Dorsey seal upon this contract is forged, and I can prove it. Here, this is what was used to seal the contract. A cleverly made counterfeit we found in your camp. <laughs> that seal proves nothing. You probably made it yourself to undermine me. That contract could not be more authentic. The same, however, cannot be said of your noble lineage. The second charge made against you is the attempted murder of Lady Morange. Are you also going to deny that your men attacked her? This is a very serious accusation. I assure you that I had no knowledge of any attack on the former governor. And if an attack did indeed take place, I am certainly not the one responsible. Is that so? Then why does this journal, written in your handwriting, say that you wish to rid your city of all Dorsey sympathizers? And that you'd found the perfect poison to do the deed in the forest surrounding your camp? Thankfully for Lady Morange, the Donegada living in the region gave us an antidote. A journal only conveys thoughts, not facts. Don't tell me you've never wished for someone's death without actually acting on those thoughts. And more to the point, who's to say that journal's genuine in the first place? Your so-called evidence, Mr. Desade, is but lie after lie. Lastly, you are accused of having sequestered and murdered the noughts who brought you to this island. Another baseless accusation. I don't know how you could possibly prove my involvement. As it happens, we freed the survivors, and they are very willing to testify against you. For all the charges set against you, you are under arrest. <sighs> the Malachor upon you, Desade. I greatly underestimated you. How wrong I was. I should have courted you and made you my ally. Together, we would have been unstoppable. Very well. What are you going to do with me? You'll be imprisoned here while we wait for the Congregation Council's ruling. Go on. Lock her up. The De Vesps would have tried to impose themselves to the bitter end. It's fantastic that you gathered all this evidence. We won't have a ruling from the Council for months. Years, even. But I'm sure the De Besps will pay a heavy price for Aurelia's folly, and the Dorsey family will emerge greater than ever. Anyway, you should destroy the documents you found. Nobody else should ever get hold of them. You're right. I'm going to burn them all right now, just to be on the safe side. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for your help. I merely gave you guidance. That is my role. See you later. What's left is to destroy the evidence that the Vesps collected about us.
Ah, so to Sade. I'm forever in your debt. Lady Morange, I've done but my duty. I'm glad that you recovered from that attack. I shudder to think what would have happened had you not come here with your cousin. Well, what can I do for you? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. My Manundanem, I'm glad we managed to save Lady Morange. Considering she's a Renaigse, she's rather wise, and at least she does not despise us. But I can't understand why you decided to simply lock this Aurelia up. She should have been sentenced to death for having betrayed her people. <sighs> but your politics on the continent are very complicated. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Green blood, my friend. It was a close call for Lady Mirage. Thank goodness we arrived in time. I have to say, I'm only half relieved that the Viper is behind bars. That kind of snake always finds a way to slither out of trouble. But it will certainly make your uncle's task easier. I just hope that cursed family never sets foot around here again. Anything else? I must leave you. I'm happy to see you. At last. I hope there aren't too many other families like that in your congregation. It would be painful to have to deal with such devious methods once again. Still, Aurelia de Vesp is under lock and key and everything is back in order. Anything else? I must leave you. Glad to see you, my friend. Lady Morange had a very close call. That Aurelia would have stopped at nothing. She went as far as hurting my own. She will not make that mistake again. Now she's rotting away in jail. I hope your council will condemn her and her whole family of murderers. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. I'm glad we made it in time to save Lorene, Lady Morange. She's a remarkable woman. Her talents would have been missed. And I'm pleased to see that you've managed to gather enough evidence to send our wicked schemer to jail. The De Vesps won't soon recover from an attempted murder and falsification charge at the Council of the Congregation. That should keep them at bay for quite some time. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was. I tried right that you were so young. I'll see you later, father. Take care, my child. 